Senate's tax plan, both company tax cuts and personal income tax cuts that need mm. to get through the Senate. Mm. How will this loose alliance fall on that? I think we've all declared our positions that we're in favour of the company tax cuts. Brian uh, was, well, the three of us, uh, Corey Fraser and I have already declared our position we're in favour of company tax cuts. Um, we think it's important for the country to be competitive with the rest of the world. But um, uh, Brian uh, was part of the One Nation deal. They did, a, they did a deal with Matthias Cormann to support it, and then Pauline changed it. Brian found out about that, he says, on the front page of the Australian newspaper. Um, so he's now publicly declared that he's in favour of, of the deal that they did. So he will vote for the, for the uh, company tax cuts. On the personal tax cuts, I don't know what his position would be. I would imagine he'd be in favour of them. That's going to be a really controversial issue this week, though, um, whether the Labor Party succeeds in splitting the oh. bill into the, um, the early ones for the lower income uh, sectors and then the later ones, which are often seven years into the future, for the higher income uh, brackets. Um, you know, the government uh, opposes splitting it, but Labor Party's pushing pretty hard for um, for that. Yeah, what are your thoughts on that? Obviously, you've got Matthias Coleman working behind the scenes trying to get some votes uh, to get this across the line. It's not looking good, certainly as far as the company tax cuts are concerned. Realistically, how do you think this is going to play out? Co yeah, company tax cuts, probably uh, he hasn't got the numbers yet. If anyone can do it, Matthias can. Mm. Um, Who's he got to get across the line? Well, I don't think he's ever going to get Tim Storer across mm. the line. Um, Darren Hinch... Hinch. Mm. Probably not. He's dug himself in fairly hard. Um, I, I think he regards the um, what n now the Centre Alliance people, former NXT um, party, um, I think he's reasonably optimistic he might get them. But then Pauline's gone you know, away from it, um, supposedly because of the Longman by-election feedback that she was getting. She's got, still got Peter Giorgio with her, her one remaining One Nation guy from Western Australia. So if they, they stick with their, their opposition to the company tax cuts, then he's not going to get the numbers. On the personal tax cut, um, I don't think the issue will be whether they pass, at least initially. I think the issue will be whether there's enough numbers for the, for the government to prevent the bill being split. I think there's a fair chance the bill will be split. After that, though, and it'll probably pass because uh, Labor's in favour of the early, tax, uh, the, you know, lower income tax bracket reductions. After that, it's going to be interesting to see, though, because the government won't accept that. I'd, well, that's what they're telling me. Mm. Um, so what it would mean is it would pass the Senate with the higher the tax cuts for the higher income brackets removed. It would then go to the House of Reps for their approval. The government tells me they won't accept that. So then, mm. then it'll have to come back to the Senate. Mm. It can't be amended. What happens after that? That's that's the yep. interesting bit. Um, so uh, I, I, there'll be a fight next week. There'll be a huge fight. We always we always have fights in the Senate. Um, so that, I think that'll be the main fight.